Hello. Hey. Happy Sunday. Thank you for being here with us. This is going to be a, a fairly quick video. Um, we we want to give our weekly updates as we always do. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about tropical storms. Um, mm -hmm. It's been weighing heavy on our hearts the last few days, the last couple of weeks. Um, just what Texas went through, what Florida is going through. So we'll talk a little bit about experience with our um with our experience with tropical storms uh -huh. and, and sort of what we did. Nothing like what they're going through now oh, no, or no, what no. the people in Florida, um, but we do have just a, a smidge of experience. So we'll talk about that um, and then we'll be done for the day. Uh -huh. Okay, so results. I can put a great big smile on my face because my week, I finally, after five or six weeks of doing what I thought was everything right, um, the scale finally showed up for me. <clears throat> um, I ended up down seven pounds for the week. So I'm into that 333-ish range, um, which is a grand total of about 14 pounds down since we started. So nice. um, yeah, I'm super excited about that. Um, my step average did not go up. It actually went down a little bit this week by about 180 steps from last week. Um, right in that, I think Candace will post the number, but it'll be, I think it's right in that 75, 7,600 range. So again, long ways to go on that goal, but we have a year to get there. So, um, and you were sick and I was sick, uh, this week. I, we've said that a couple different times, um, <laughs> in the, the videos, I swear I'm not a, what's, what's the word? Hypochondriac. A hypochondriac. I'm not, I've just had a couple little illnesses and then my foot injury has been slowing me down a little bit, but I don't want to use those as excuses either. Yep. Um, but so next week is bigger and better on the step count. And I know that the scale will not show seven pounds every week. Um, I know that, um, but I'm going to celebrate when it does. So woohoo, fireworks, yay. yay. So what about you? How was your week? Um, it was actually really good. Um, last week, the scale <clears throat> had gone up quite a bit. And I wasn't really sure how that happened, but it's a number, whatever, I'll deal with it. Um, I think I can actually feel a difference in myself, even though the scale's not showing it. I feel better. I have more energy, whatever. Mm -hmm. I think some of my clothes are fitting a little better, so we'll just go with it. Um, this week I was down 4.4 pounds from last week, so I lost most of the five that I gained last week. So I'll take it. It's a loss, and it's a step in the right direction. Yep. So... What about your other goal, your activity goal? <sighs> <laughs> that good, huh? Yeah, that's that's about all I can say about that. Right. Yeah. So what's your plan for this week? I got to figure it out. Yeah. Plain and simple. So what are you going to do to figure it out? I know you hate it when I do this to you. I do. Stop <laughs> coaching me. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just have to make myself do it. That's it. Okay. Do you want me to press your buttons? Nope. No. I, you saw me start shaking my head before she said nope because I knew the answer. But I have to ask, as a good husband with a beautiful br blushing bride, I had to ask the question. So I knew the answer, but I had to ask anyway. Thank you, but no. Right. Okay, so tropical storms. We're going to dig through our pictures and, and show you some of our adventures of tropical storms and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even remember the name of the one that we Tammy. went through. Uh, so tropical storm Tammy several years ago that came through the the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that one ever turned into a hurricane. No. But we were on a Disney cruise, and we got caught at Castaway Key. Mm -hmm. um, which is Disney's private island, Disney, if you don't know. Right, Disney's private island. We'll put a picture of that up um, for you. Um, I have never been so wet in my entire life as I was <laughs> on the rain that came into into that. So the, the ship's captain did a good job. He pulled us in. We went off. My brother and I did a shore excursion of bottom fishing. We could see the rain kind of moving in from that shore excursion. Candace and my sister-in-law were, were sitting on the, the beach, uh, Serenity Bay Beach, mm -hmm. and they could see the same thing moving in. By the time my brother and I made it back to that beach, it was raining so hard. I, I've i seen some heavy rain. I've been caught in some pretty heavy rain. I have never been caught in anything like that. Mm -hmm. And the weird thing about it was is that it was like shower temperature. It was warm. And like even when it downpours here in the middle of summer, there's always a cool mm -hmm. part of it. But tropical rain is warm. 
And like Scott said, it will drench you like no drenching you've ever had before in your life. Um, I know we've been through a couple rainstorms on Castaway Key before. Um, one started while we were in the ocean. And we didn't think much of it because it wasn't heavy. And we were in the ocean anyway. So we thought as long as there was no lightning or anything with it, we were fine. And we were. Um, but Tropical Storm Tammy had some different ideas because she blew a storm in and it rained and it drenched us and then she kind of laid off for a little bit and then she came back again and at that point the captain of the ship was like okay we have to get everyone back on the ship we have to get away from the island and we're sorry so we thought we had gotten you know that that part of our cruise shortchanged a little bit but we were very pleased the next day because he did take us back to the island. So instead of having a day at sea like we were supposed to, they took us back to Castaway. So we got to enjoy that uh, for a second full day. Yeah, it was a double dip cruise without having to pay for the double dip. Right. That's, it was kind of awesome. Um, and then our last cruise last year, mm -hmm. we didn't get caught by which hurricane was that that came? Was that Andrew? Mm, no, no, that's 2010. Yeah. So whatever hurricane it was that blew through and hit... Uh, part of Florida last Matthew? year. Yeah, it might have been Matthew. I think so. So we were just ahead of Matthew. Our cruise um, date left, and when we got back, they actually shortened the cruise after us mm -hmm. to get back. So, um, and it was moving through fast enough that one of our ports of call, they actually didn't let us go on because the, the waves and, and the storm moving through um, was starting to have an impact on on being able to dock the ship, so and get away um, safely, and be able to get away safely. So mm -hmm. we we got an extra day at sea. So the the world balances itself out because my favorite thing about cruising are those days at sea. So that time when we got to double dip on Castaway Key, I was disappointed that we didn't get a day at sea. Um, so the world sort of corrected itself. It it only took about ten years to do so, but it corrected itself, and we got another. Um, day at sea. There were lots of people on board that were really disappointed, but I'll tell you, if the captain of a ship like that says it's not safe, you just go with it. You you have an extra not pina, like you have a choice, right? You have an extra pina colada on the ship. You trust their years of experience, and I would say that for a traveling thing altogether mm -hmm. is you in that situation. Their first priority: Disney Cruise, Carnival Cruise. No matter what you think of the cruise line, their first priority. Um, is always your safety. Mm -hmm. um, so they want to make sure that, that you get home safely. Um, and if they don't, it's a pretty big black eye. You look at some of the ones that, that have broken down in, in the Gulf of Mexico and, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing, that really takes a toll on those cruise companies. Um, so they're, if, if they think it's not safe, they won't put you in that position, which I think is very admirable. And um, they, they really do a very good job of watching those storms closely. And it's not just when the storm gets close to the path that you're going to be cruising. They watch them from the beginning when they're over by Europe or Africa or where, wherever it is that they choose to get started. They watch them all the way because if their path at all would cross, they could be putting... 3,000 people or greater at really high risk, yeah. and nobody wants that. <clears throat> You've seen the the video. Um, a lot of you have probably seen that video of a couple of years ago where a, a captain made the decision to, to cruise out and thought he was avoiding the storm, but it took a sudden turn. Um, I would rather my captain not guess as to what the track is going to be and mm -hmm. avoid it altogether. We've seen, we've been on multiple cruises where they said, this is the path we're going to sail and you can watch it on your stateroom TV, but all of a sudden they're going a different path. For the, the storms that are down in the, the Caribbean this year, when um, Irma started coming up, you could see all the cruise ship and shipping container and, and that kind of thing. They all went south and they, they said, we're just going to be safe. Um, the what Hank is that Henry is the one that hit Texas Harvey Harvey there it is <laughs> names I struggle with names um, I wish he would have been an invisible rabbit <laughs> I mean right. Right all the damage he did right <laughs> uh, but even with Harvey coming in there were cruise ships that were just sort of living out in the Gulf of Mexico waiting for it to come through because mm -hmm. they didn't want to put those people in danger 
when they were coming back into Galveston. So those those ship captains really are on their, their game for the most part. They do, and it's a situation where I've read several things. Um, being a travel professional, I'm like, my Facebook feed is full of different people's accounts of the storms and things like that and what each company is doing to take care of their guests. And some people have reported that they got an extra full week on the ships. And those ships are stocked with food. They are stocked with staff. They are stocked with medical supplies. You're not going to get bored. Um, but more importantly, you're going to be safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can't imagine a, a better place to weather out a storm than on a cruise ship, especially if you're avoiding all of the the turmoil of what goes with a storm like that. Um, especially if you don't have family in, in that area or I whatever. Would, yeah, I was just thinking um, that would be terrible mm -hmm. to be in the middle of the ocean somewhere, knowing that where you were going back home to is being ravaged by a storm. Yeah. Being from Nebraska, if if it was coming up and they, they were like, ah, we're just going to sail around out here for another three or four days and let the hurricane blow through, and then you'll, you'll be able to take off and, and get home, mm -hmm. I'd be like, Hells to the yeah, let's do that. Um, obviously, prayers with everybody in, in Florida and Texas and the Caribbean and everybody that's just been devastated by mm -hmm. these storms. I, I don't want to make light of, of what they're going through no. at all. Um, but we're, our thoughts and prayers and, and donations and everything are, are right there with, with them as they go through this. Yeah, and a big shout out to the first responders and the people that go as part of tasks for, task forces and things like that, and the FEMA um, people that are being deployed. Thank you. Um, deployed to go and help. We really appreciate it, and our thoughts and prayers are with you. Excellent. Have a wonderful week, and we will see you next week. Be safe. Bye. Bye-bye.